Hey guys, it's Wes, not your normal miner here. Today we've got pool testing for you, and that's mining Ethereum. We have been testing nanopool.org versus twominers.com. In the description down below, we're going to have links to everything so you guys can do your own research. If you guys like these kind of videos, please give us a thumbs up. If you're new to that channel, you better hit that subscription bell so you can keep up with our latest and greatest pool testings. We have been using Hive OS to power up our two identical 1070 Ti test rigs. And you can see here, this is test rig blue one. And we are, have also been using test rig green one. In the upper right hand corner, I'm gonna have a link to the benchmarking of those so you guys can see how identical those things hash. We are a cryptocurrency mining based channel focusing on pool testings, overclock setting testings, minor programs, how to. We did build our remote garden location to show you guys everything we did as far as scaling up. And that is with multiple GPU and ASIC mining rigs. Here over on Hive OS, and once again, in the description down below, I'm gonna have links to this stuff. You can see our dashboard side. Most important thing here, you're gonna see six days, two hours, six days, two hours. These rigs have been hashing identical at 28.16 mega hash per second. You guys might like say, Wes, no, there's no way that's possible. Guys, in that description down below and in that link in the upper right hand corner, we got that benchmarking video. It'll show you everything about how we make these things hash identical. Also in the upper right hand corner, make sure you check out those links so that you can see um, the innards of both of those blue one and green one. We've got videos for both of those. But once again, dashboard side, it's very important for us to be 28.16, 28.16 for our settings, for our tests, so that we can get identical tests set so you guys can see the results. And that's what we're going to show you. Biggest thing, though, and, and Khalid over in Discord, thank you for bringing this up. This is something that uh, you got to factor in with these tests, guys, is you head over to miningpoolstats.stream in the description down below. I got a link to that. Um, pool fees are what's very important. Depending on the pool fees, you're going to lose more or less of those coins that you earn. Minimum payouts are going to affect how soon you get those payouts. Miners on the pool are going to affect your payouts because the more miners that are on the pool, um, the more blocks in theory that are going to be fined, but you're going to also have a smaller percentage of that hash rate more like than not. So, Lots of different factors come in, but miningpoolstats.stream is something that we always like to check. Also want to say a big shout out and thank you to Walter for reminding me in our last pool testing video that we do need to make sure that we are showing you guys the overclock settings here for these because that's something that's very, very important. We want you guys to see the overclocks, see that they're the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to break this down for you and we are going to show you guys overclocks here on green one and this is two days in. Core zero, memory 300, power limit 100, 28.16 mega hash per second. Blue one at the same time. Core zero, memory 300, power limit 100, 28.16 mega hash per second. Here you can see green one over on twominers.com during that same time at earned 0 0.00438. Blue one over at nanopool.org has earned 0 0.00445. So guys, in the description down below, I need you guys to comment. Make sure you tell us if you guys like these videos or not. You also got to let us know if there's something that we're missing. If, you, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscription bell. But you guys better tell us what you like. If you hit that down button, you better tell us what you didn't like. Over here, three days in, blue one, core zero, memory, 300, power limit 100, 28.16 mega hash per second. Green one, core zero, Memory 300, power limit 100, 28.16 mega hash per second. And you can see here, 0 0.00753 earned by blue one over on nano pool. And green one has earned 0 0.00711 over on twominers.com. Let's get a little bit farther into this test, four days in. And we've got blue one at core zero, memory 300, power limit 100. We've got Green one at core zero, memory 300, power limit 100, 28.16 mega hash per second. Blue one over on nanopool.org has earned at this time 0 0.00971. And green one over on twominers.com has earned 0 0.00983. Now we're getting farther into this test, guys. In the upper right hand corner, make sure you check out the links to those videos where you've where you can see test rigs, blue one and green one, and those innards. 
Make sure you're checking out the description down below. we got some good links, and you guys better be hitting that thumbs up. We really cherish that, and commenting and let us know what we're missing on this. But you can see, core zero, memory 300, power limit 100. Green, same time frame. Core zero, memory 300, power limit 100. We've got blue one over on nanopool.org has earned at this time 0 0.01228. And we're going to show you guys green one over on twominers.com has earned 0 0.01192. So every day you can see sometimes there's more blocks being earned. Sometimes we've had more shares. You can see the fluctuations, but we've been breaking down this Ethereum pool test for you guys. And that's been nanopool.org versus twominers.com. Six days in, and we're getting ready to wrap up this pool testing video. You can see core zero, memory 300, power limit 100, and that's blue one with a hash rate on Ethereum of 28.16. Green one at that same time. Core zero, memory 300, power limit 100, 28.16 mega hash per second. You can see here over on blue one at nanopool.org, we have 0 0.01482 Ethereum earned. And during that same time, 2miners.com has earned 0 0.01370 Ethereum. Got to remember, amount of blocks found, your total hash rate is going to affect how many coins you earn. And then the minimum payouts and the pool fees are going to affect how fast you get those. Every mining pool is different. Please head over to miningpoolstats.stream so you can check out some of the stats from these. As we're wrapping up this pool test, we've been using... Blue one, it's got that gigabyte 1070 Ti, and we've been going up against green one, it's got that gigabyte 1070 Ti. Nanopool versus two miners, Ethereum pool testing. We'll break it down one last time. On 8.4, Nanopool was ahead. 8.5, Nanopool was ahead. On 8.6, two miners was ahead. On 8.7, Nanopool went back ahead, and on 8.8, Nanopool has 0 0.01482 and two miners has 0 0.0137. So we are going to wrap up this pool testing video. Nanopool.org versus two miners.com. If you guys like this stuff, make sure you check out the links in the description down below. You're going to be able to follow us over on Twitter. That's where you can keep up with our latest and greatest. There's also that link over to Discord where you can speak with us directly. It's going to be very important you guys get subbed to the channel if you're not, because we do have that 1K YouTube subscriber giveaway coming up. We're going to wrap up our Ethereum pool testing, 2miners.com versus nanopool.org as we've been mining Ethereum. Thank you guys very much. My name's Wes. I'm not your normal miner.